full sun, no problem. You can see a little bit of flashing on the screen, but not too much. I'm Dave Schneider for IEEE Spectrum with my latest hands-on project, a bicycle computer. So most people use a, a bicycle computer pretty much like this one. This is an old cat eye. And while it's okay, uh, it does have some problems. Namely, it's kind of hard to see. Which is why I worked out a bicycle computer for farsighted people. We'll take it out for a spin, but first I want to show you how the bits and pieces go together. A Kindle Touch attached to my handlebars with, yes, you, you guessed it, rubber bands. Back here in the saddlebag. is a Raspberry Pi and a battery pack for the Raspberry Pi. Here is a board. This is one I designed that plugs into the uh, general purpose I.O. Of the, of the Raspberry Pi. And it's got a GPS unit on it, uh, a backup battery, um, and the plug. Plugged in are two reed switches, which are attached uh, down here on my bike, one senses the motion of the wheel, the other the motion of the chain ring. So uh, tells me my cadence and my speed. So the Raspberry Pi is a pretty powerful little computer to be toting around on your bike. And I've programmed it to serve up a little web app, my, my cycling computer. It broadcasts uh, through Wi-Fi and the Kindle is merely using its experimental browser um, to log into this application. All right, here we are, full sun. Take another spin. Hey, don't forget the map. It's just this touch screen isn't the, the best. And there we are. So it was a kind of involved little project, but if you like programming and you like biking, you don't like squinting, maybe give it a try.